Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oops. This is the story of a little girl. Her name is Goldilocks. She's got golden hair. Everyone loves her. Every day she goes to the village. Hi, Goldilocks. How are you? Goldilocks smiles and says, I'm fine. How are you? Goldilocks is eating dinner with her mother. She asks, why is the forest bad, mother? There are dangerous animals in the forest, Goldilocks. Don't go there, says her mom. But Goldilocks wants to go there. She wants to see the animals. She wants to see the trees and the flowers in the forest. She thinks about the forest every day. The next day, Goldilocks talks to her mom. Mother, I'm going to Alice's house, she says. But Goldilocks isn't going to Alice's house. She's going to the forest. The blacksmith sees her and says, Hi, Goldilocks, where are you going? But Goldilocks doesn't say anything. She walks quickly out of the village. She goes into the forest. She sees green trees, beautiful birds and butterflies. She sees a squirrel and a rabbit. It's a beautiful forest, she says. It isn't dangerous. Green trees, beautiful birds and butterflies. She sees a squirrel and a rabbit. It's a beautiful forest, she says. It isn't dangerous. Goldilocks plays with the animals. She looks at the beautiful trees and flowers. After an hour, Goldilocks is hungry and thirsty. She sees a house in the forest. Look, there is a house. I can't get water there, she thinks. She walks to the water, to the house, and knocks on the door. Oh my God, is there anyone there? She listens for a minute as she opens the door. The house is nice and tidy. She looks in the kitchen. There is a table. There are three bowls of soup on the table. Goldilocks is hungry. She wants to eat the soup. Goldilocks eats some soup from the first bowl. It's very hot. She eats some soup from the second bowl. It's very cold. She eats some soup from the third bowl. It's very good. And she eats all the soup. Now Goldilocks is tired. Oh, she wants some sleep. She goes to the bedroom. There are three beds. The first bed is very big. The second bed is very old. The third bed is very nice. And she sleeps in the third bed. Later, three brown bears come into the house. They live there. Every day before lunch, they walk in the forest. My spoon is dirty, says Father Bear. My spoon's dirty, says Mother Bear. My spoon's dirty and where's my soup, asks Baby Bear. Who is in our house, asks Father Bear. The bear goes into the bedroom. My bed isn't tidy, says Mother Bear. My bed isn't tidy, says Father Bear. My bed isn't tidy and there is a girl in it, says Baby Bear. Who are you? asks Father Bear. Goldilocks hears the bears. She wakes up. She sees the three brown bears next to her and she asks, she shouts actually, help! What are you doing here? asks Father Bear. Are you dangerous animals? asks Goldilocks. Dangerous? Dangerous? Oh no, we aren't dangerous, says Mother Bear. We are good bears. Goldilocks is crying. She wants to go home. I want to go home, she says. I want my mom. Mother Bear is very nice. She says, don't cry, little girl. Baby Bear can take you to the village. Goldilocks and Baby Bear leave. They walk quickly in the forest. They see the village. Please come into the forest again, says Baby Bear. We can play. Goldilocks' mother is looking for her. Oh, there you are, Goldilocks. She smiles and kisses Goldilocks. She's very happy to see her. Goldilocks tells her mom about the bears. They aren't dangerous, mother. I want to go and play with them again, she says. Every day, Goldilocks says to her mom, I'm going into the forest. I want to play with baby bear. Her mom doesn't believe her, but she smiles and says, yes, okay. 
Now, Goldilocks and Baby Bear are very good friends and they play every day. And that's it.